17 better than I know my own. Oh shit, come on. Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption video. I sort of returned to this game to just explore it a little more, and I was bored with Skyrim, so I'm going to introduce some Skyrim videos and Red Dead Redemption videos, mix it up a little bit. Well, this is just some encounters I ran into while I was on my way to a main mission point. And yeah, I mean, it's expansive and the random encounters alone, it makes it kind of worth playing. You just kind of have to deal with um, some problems and uh, with a bounty on the character's head. Yeah, that can kind of cause him to be shot on sight. But let's continue on with some random encounters. Obviously, I was a little late to save the guy, but hey, I did get the cougar, and unfortunately, it's not in great shape because I shot it multiple times. But a little money is better than no money, am I correct? So I'm going to skin the cougar, get some meat, and then take a look at the guy and uh, loot him. Unfortunately, his horse ran away and um well that would have been kind of useful if i could have that horse so let's take a look at um what this guy has the horse is gone and i'm going to go look for the dude and see what he has In some way, the controls on this are, how shall I say, a little more deliberate. What I don't like is I can't pick up, like, dropped guns. I have to get rid of one gun and keep the other. I can't pick up dropped guns and go to the armorer and sell them, or at least I haven't found that way to do it. I think I might have to research that a little bit, but I don't see any reason why... Um, Mr. Morgan couldn't pick up guns and weapons that somebody dropped or no longer needs and sell them to an armorer in town. That would have made a little more sense to me, but I digress. Just stand there. Come on, somebody, give me a hand with 
We've done all we can for you. you. Come back for your money at the end of the week. I can't pay you in full for today, of course. The rest of you, stop gawking. Get back to work. Come on! And you there. Thanks for the help. Okay, the guy, his leg is broken, and his foreman says, well, you know, I can't pay you, uh, and got to wait till the end of the week. Yeah, things were kind of rough back then. Kind of sucked. Let's get on with this next random encounter. <laughs> Who put a rock in the middle of the road? Hey! You there? Aye. Would you mind watching my stuff while I head to find another wagon? Do, do you know who I am? You can't point that at me. Since you're otherwise occupied, I think I'll be taking what I want from your wagon. And from you, too. You ain't even there, as far as I'm concerned. Boss ain't gonna be happy about this. Hey! Ah. It's all broken, probably, anyway. Could swear this normally ain't rocks on this road. Old West style drunk driving. Gotta love it. Hey, nothing really of any real value around here. It's just a bunch of garbage and, uh, yeah. Well, a dead horse and a broken wagon. The guy, well, he didn't seem to care anyway. And that's kind of one of the interesting things about Red Dead Redemption 2 is these random encounters. Left trigger, not right trigger, left trigger. That's the problem. Every time I try and surrender to someone, I'm right-handed, I hit the right trigger, and I end up shooting the people. And yeah, that's not a good thing. Uh, the bounty is due to the jailbreak that Morgan did in the town of Strawberry, which I'm trying to travel back to. And that $250 bounty is not going to get paid. But it's kind of interesting. And let's see. Examine these plants. Oregano. Awesome. Organic oregano. Not a 
again, you filthy pervert! Have an eye, fool! A bitch! Oh, shit! Out of damn one! Oh, I may have deserved that. Like I said in a previous video, a game designed for adults, and this is all PG. Yeah, uh, there could have been a little more there, but time to get out of town, and uh, time to surrender to the law, man. Okay, you got me. Climb down this instant. Okay, take it easy. Take one more I didn't even reach for the gun. What the heck? They shot me up. Don't they want to collect $250? That'd be like a Midas fortune in this time. Yeah. So much for trying to surrender. I'm really trying to find out what would happen if I get arrested for the $250 and what goes on after that. That'd be a great video. But let's move on. I'm in Strawberry and probably should leave town. Well, folks, Mr. Morgan has left town and on his way to find Black Bell, which is part of a larger mission. Some guy, reporter, photographer, wanted uh, Mr. Morgan to track down this woman. And that will be, how shall I say, my next video. If you like this video, hit the like button. Leave some comments. If you like this type of video, I post four video game related videos a week. And I'm going to try and mix it up with both Red Dead Redemption 2 and Skyrim. Hopefully I get enough footage to edit more videos together as I play Red Dead Redemption. It's turning out to actually be a little more fun than I thought. As always, thanks for any comments. If you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. I always appreciate it. It helps support the channel. And thanks. For stopping by.